going to start talking about positioning using styles. It's a very important part of styles is that you can position HTML elements and the text or images or content in them anywhere in a web browser's page. And we're going to see how to use the positioning style properties to do that, starting off with the position style property itself. That is a property that indicates what kind of positioning you want to use. You can set it to absolute for absolute positioning where you set the absolute coordinates of the element in the web page or to relative for relative positioning where you set the position of the of the element you're positioning with respect to another element. We're going to see how to use both absolute and relative positioning in this course and that's the position style property. The top style property is the offset of the top of the element in the browser's client area. So that's the top property and if you have a browser like this then this white area here is the browser's client area. It excludes any toolbars, status bars, scroll bars, address bars, and so forth, menu bars and so on. This is the client area. So the top property is the location of the top of the element in the browser's client area. It's measured from the top of the client area is top equals zero pixels and you measure down increasingly, increasing number of pixels down to here and so that is a positive. The image one here has a positive top property because top is measured in the increasing y direction going downwards. So this position here at upper left is zero zero in the client area and top the top location increases as you go down in increasing y direction and the next property which is left increases going this way as you see here to positive x direction. So positive y is down, positive x is to the right. Okay so well, next you have actually the bottom element is the offset of the bottom of the element in the client's browser area, browser's client area. By default this measurement is also taken to be in pixels and you can append px to it if you like to specify to the browser that you are measuring in pixels as in 50px. Left is the offset of the left edge of the element in the browser's client area. So to move an element using absolute positioning you usually use top and left properties, the top and left properties. Left is the offset of the left edge of the element of the browser's client area. By default this measurement is also taken to be in pixels and finally right is the offset of the right edge of the element in the browser's client area. You don't usually use that either to, to position an element, you just use top and left but the right pro style property exists and it is the offset of the right edge of the element in the browser's client area. Finally the Z order style property sets the stacking order of the item with respect to other elements. I'm also going to see how that works in this course and it allows you to stack HTML elements on top of each other which, which can also be very useful in AJAX enabled web pages and these are the style properties we're going to be using in order to position elements in web pages and so let's start working with them.